previously on the dragon ship. Let's talk about Chris Williamson. So he kind of popped up, you know, the run, the one video that I, I actually end up, you know, catching on to him was the one with that, uh, that psychologist or that, um, sociologist, uh, what was it? That marriage counselor guy, um, Aaron something, yeah. uh, we, we used a couple of the clips in our video about uh, hookup culture. Yeah, he was um, kind of talking the praises of the red pill, Glenn. Yeah, yeah. When he brought that guy on, he had shifted his viewpoint. Exactly. Into RP being very dangerous to young men. And he was basically parodying the new popularity of the Andrew Tates being super dangerous. He was using the mm -hmm. same language, actually, and putting it on the RP. Yeah, he kind of seems more like a populist in the space, not really somebody that's committed or... Um, stands on any principles he's, he's kind of like the populist whatever is uh, the popular you know trend or thought of belief system whatever at the time he's kind of kind of attach himself to it and you know kind of ride with that so i really don't see him really being here much longer other than the fact that he may be interesting with uh a couple you know ideas or you know talking points but i really don't see him as a factor in this space for long, Very long honestly yeah i'll agree with you on that prediction i don't think he's going to stick with the red pill other than to call us dangerous to kind of get attention to it yeah what about um you wraith what are your thoughts on it if i take everybody from uh chris back it's hard for me to take a lot of them seriously okay just to be honest they haven't lived long enough to experience anything yeah. And they definitely haven't been able to take these principles and apply them to their life long enough to be sitting there talking to someone about how to change their life with the red pill. And they go on and you hear, hear these shows and it's just, it's, it's talking heads to me. Yeah. I want to see real life changes that these people have affected on people. And then they'll, they'll get my respect. Other than that, they're just entertainers. Yeah. And yeah. I know you're getting ready to dip out. Do you want to um, say your uh, goodbyes now? Sure. I, I got to go, guys. I'm. Uh, if you want to hit me up, I'm on Instagram, Telegram, Facebook, Wraith underscore Detour, and also on um, Yahoo Mail if you want to do it that way. But like I said, the proof to the pudding. When you start talking about the old guys and I'm not going to be here, you know, I think you're going to see the difference between what they offer and how they've offered it and can they continue to offer at that level as opposed to these young young people that are coming in trying to you know make a name for themselves using the principles but like i said show, show me the proof if if you want to talk about receipts i don't care how many women you've been with and stuff like that show me how it's affected your life and changed your life and how you will be able to affect change in other people's lives through your examples. That's where I'm at with it. Nice. Excellent. Nice. What's your 2023 prediction for Wraith Dean Tour? Where are we going to be at the end of 2023? Sitting right here where we're at right now, helping <laughs> men that want to be helped. Excellent. And that's what I, that's what I do. Thank you, Wraith. We'll see you next time, buddy. Let's go. Right, Moving on, um, Randall, what are your thoughts? I got to be honest. I don't know this dude. There's so many content creators coming out now that I can't follow them all. And so I have narrowed down the ones that I find to be the most, the most valuable in both education and entertainment. And this guy makes the cut in neither of those. Phil. Yeah, I don't even know who this dude is and could give two shits, really. <laughs> I'm just being real, man. I, I can't, can't make a comment on a guy I don't even follow, understand, or watch or anything right. like that. So just pass the mic. Yeah, no worries. No worries. No worries. I mean, we got some fast up and comers we're not even going to mention, you know, like uh, Ryan Atlas over there at whatever podcast. We got some guys moving fast, you know. Yeah. So we won't be able to get to everybody. So if you don't have a comment, that's good.